What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse? My name is Nick Rosenauer. Oh, one more Yeah. Okay. Now. Uh, let me. So are you welcome to come out here? No, I'm from around here yet. I'm moving here in about a month. I'm from Fort Madera. Okay. Nick Resnow. I'm just going to ask you a few questions. First question is, what do you think happens when you die? Well, I think happens when I die. Okay. I don't know, man. I mean, it's kind of up for grabs, I guess. Like. I don't really. What I would have experienced, what would I think would happen when I die, based on my personal life. I don't know. I think. I mean, it could be nothing. I could just die. And what would happen then? I don't know. I could die and then I could just die and who knows what kind of like infinity of nothing that's going to be. I don't know. I think I'm just going to. You know what? I'm not even tripping about dying. I'm trying to just live my life to the fullest, right? Have yeah, fun while I'm here. Whatever happens afterwards, whatever. I did my time. I had fun. Don't you think it's important that we try and find out, though? I mean, it'd be cool if there could be a definitive answer to tell you what happens after you die. I mean, who wouldn't want to know what happens after you die? Let me ask you. But, that. like, yeah. could you uh, ever actually... Could, just, just could somebody come back from the dead and tell you? Yeah, right? No, man, right? <laughs> if someone could come back and tell me what was good, maybe I would think about it and change, but... So you, you just don't know? I don't know. Do as far as like, you guys are religious, right? Christian or something? What? All of us are religious, right, Nick? Oh, yeah. We all believe something really yeah. strong. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to say I'm not religious. I'm not like... I mean, hell, my friends are like, apathetic and really like, just like, I don't know. They just kind of think like, God's bullshit. They talk hell on it. I don't know. It's a whole like, punk rock or whatever thing. It's like, this is himself and everything. I wouldn't say fuck religion. Like, that's not... I mean, why? Like, I use, like, I don't say I believe in God, but I'm definitely, like, agnostic. There might be something. So, so I use that to know. kind of, like, make myself a better like person. Like, kind of, like, that there may be a higher power. Like, I'll just talk myself into it and just be like, look, like, you're going to have a good day today. Be thankful for the shit you have. But it doesn't mean exactly I'm saying it to, like, some, like, specific higher power, like, God or something. I think it's good to enlighten people and show them that there is a way they could, they could get better. But at the same time, like... I don't want to be here and like people like, like I was in Venice a while ago and these people that were like, I don't know what they were, but they carried up like their like Bibles and shit and they were holding up some like dead fetuses with abortions and stuff like, man, little kids are on the beach and stuff like, I don't want to see that kind of shit. That's the kind of shit that makes me angry and makes me want to go out and fuck something up. Like someday maybe, who knows, maybe Jesus will come back, maybe everybody will be enlightened and maybe everybody will be saved and stuff. But at the moment in 2008, but we don't want to spare the moment, right? Because maybe tomorrow he will come and we're not right with him. Well, what are we going to get? We're going to, since God is not only good, right? But he's also just. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says God is but, good. But at the same time, like, I don't want to always have to worry. I don't want to feel that burden of wondering, is he going to be here tomorrow? Is he going to be here next year? Like, is he about to judge me and, like, take me like, on that? Like, I don't want to be judged. I don't want to have to think over my back every second. Like, I want to keep myself straight. But I was having fun, like... I mean, I, like, maybe, like, I made some bad decisions, but I don't want to wake up the next week and be like, oh, my God, like, is he about to come? Like, am I going to hell for this shit? Like, I don't know. I don't have time to worry about that, because then I just get depressed, and I got too anxious, and I'm all panicky, and it's not even good for you. The Bible says that if we don't accept that we're already condemned, we're already judged, we're going to go to hell. If we, don't, if we don't repent and trust in him, repentance is turning away from our sins. Is this repenting of Jesus? on the cross for the sin sins of anybody who will repent and trust in Him. And if you don't repent and trust in Him, well, then obviously that, uh, that doesn't get accounted to you. And that's what the Bible says. And I understand what you're saying, you know, I don't want to have to worry, but you're, you should already worry because when you die, if you're not right with Him today, you're, you're not going to you're not gonna have eternal life. And you say, you know, you want to have fun, but you know, as a Christian, you can still have fun. But fun shouldn't be the goal, right? Because at some point in time, that fun is going to be stripped away. Um, would you consider yourself to be a good person overall? We were talking about that. We were talking so about I consider myself a good person overall? Yeah. overall? yeah. I consider myself, I made my mistakes, and I feel bad for him, but for the most part, I'm a good person. I'm really nice. Like, I don't outwardly go look for trouble for the most part. Like, 
I don't try to start things with people and make them feel bad and stuff. I mean, I don't do like make the best decisions all the time. I get, I do hella drugs. I go out. A lot of like society and stuff like that says isn't right, but who are they to tell me what to do? You know? Who the fuck are they? Can I ask you a few questions to see if that's true? Have you like protected us? Have you ever told lying? Of course. Bad lies all the time. Everybody lies. It's true, but um, what would that make me and you if we tell lies? If we tell lies all the time? Liars. Yeah. Right? right? Have you yeah. ever stolen anything, Nick? Yep. Okay. Yep. So what would that make you? Okay, I'll look into it. Let's see. Beep. How old right. are you, Nick? I'm just curious. I'm 18. You're 18, dude. Awesome. So, um, I know there's a lot of girls around here. Have you ever looked with lust towards one of them? Hell yeah, there's some mad cute girls. Hey, Greg. Hey, he's asking about the cute girls around here. Tell me it's the cute girls. They're also. fucking hot. Damn, we just saw two girls walk by. Okay, well, when you do that, right? Yeah. When you look with lust, Jesus says if you look with lust, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Why? I mean, you can't look at a girl and think about like having sex with her without like someone judging you about it. That's because it's not like I'm like outwardly like. Okay. And she knew the thoughts in your mind, right? Let's say we put a, a microchip back of your uh, neck right here, Why and we allowed it, it somehow it was able to record every thought, word, and deed you did that whole week, okay? Or month, let's put it month. And we were to post that for um, your future wife, which I don't know if so you So she like know all the thoughts I think about all the girls she, when I want your parents, out. your mom, your dad, and all your family members, watch that. Would they, would you like that to happen? I wouldn't really care, because like, I, I would give her the same thing, like, I know. It's just a natural instinct, humans must have sex. Like, it's just a thing. It's, it's inbuilt in your thing. You've got to have sex and stuff like that. I'm sure everybody has. You look at girls, you never think that you like really just want to have sex with them. Like, they just look really cute. Like, nice of them. Like, I've had girlfriends that I've been very close with. And yeah, I might have been at a party and seen another cute girl and thought she was really cute. But I never approached her. I never wanted to get with her. I just was admiring her. Admiring her beauty, admiring her looks, and I wasn't being disrespectful or anything. And later on, I went back to bed with my lady, and I was thankful because my girlfriend was beautiful. Too. I just appreciate all women. No, you can, you can, I love all you can women, women, and I can never feel bad about looking at a woman and feel like there's like lust or like some judgment because all women are beautiful. I just love everybody, and I love sex, and I just everything about sex, everything about love. I was just pointing out that you see, me and you, both of us, all of us actually would be liars, right? We all lie. We We've all stole something. And if we haven't, we wanted to, right? Yeah. And the Bible also says that we've, clearly we've all committed adultery in our heart. We've lusted after men or women, depending on what, what sex we are. Yeah. So, since God is just, He'd have to punish us for breaking His laws. Because those are His laws. He says in the Ten Commandments, don't do this. He's explicit. And we've done it. Me and you, and I bet everybody has, because the Bible says nobody's uh, clean, clean, you know? Everybody's sin. So we'd all deserve damnation, right? Because God is just, He'd have to punish us. He'd have to. He's good. If He's good God, He'd have to. And that's what the Bible says, is that we would have to be punished, but then there's also another side to us. The Bible says that God is forgiving us.